Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Aaron here from Two Clicks, and today I was gonna share with you, I went to, if you listened to our last episode, I went to a local um, brick and mortar store, and they were doing a moving sale, and they had their Hero Clicks, well, they had everything in the store 50% off. They had this brick of Batman the Animated Series, which I picked up for uh, $60, so I figured, why not? Let's open it. So today I'm gonna open it. We'll see what we get, and we'll talk about some of the stuff as we open it. All right, guys. Let's see. So we do. Sorry, I'm sure it's loud. All right, uh, we'll start with this booster here. Uh, actually, do this. There we go. So we got booster number one. So. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with what this is, this is a tab uh, tabletop collectible miniature game uh, called Hero Clicks, where you can play with some of your favorite uh, heroes and villains. And it's a strategy game, turn based, and uh, different things are based, uh, different sets are based on uh, different themes. So this one's Batman the Animated Series from, I think, the 90s. And so our first booster, we've got, uh, looks like Joker, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, uh, Roland Daggert, and Talia Al Ghul. Um, nothing special on this booster that I really like is Joker. So this Joker has actually got a pretty, pretty neat dial. Um, so he's common, he's 30 points. Uh, let's see if you can see here, this is his starting click. Let's see if I can get it to focus not so much he's got probability control super senses uh, 10 attack 3 damage and he's got a special smoke cloud that lets him make a free incapacitate which I think is actually pretty good I think he's kind of like a sleeper for the set so, um, definitely would see play in sealed if I was playing him you can see on the side here uh, it says super friends super friends are the chase theme for this set so um, one thing people may not know about this set is that um, you're pretty much supposed to be getting a chase every booster I got two cameras going on which one um, so here's uh, Nightwing is our rare so you're supposed to get pretty much a, a chase every brick possibly every uh, two in a brick um, based on the numbers I've seen so um, nothing too crazy in this one. I got another joke. Uh, joke. This was uncommon. Um, oh, Batman Beyond. Actually, let's talk about him for a second. So Batman Beyond is a pretty good piece. Um, a lot. A very popular uh, character. Very popular show for a little while. And uh, if you look at his card here. You could see, uh, can't see so well, but I, I'll read it to you. We got like a weird lighting source, so sorry guys. Uh, but he's got running shot, psychic blast, uh, 10, 11, 17, 3 with invuln and shape change. And then he's got the voice of experience at the beginning of your turn. You may choose blades, claws, fangs, energy, explosion, incapacity, still, or uh, you may choose one of those powers. Incapacitate steel energy. Batman Beyond can use chosen power until your turn. And he's got improved targeting, uh, sees through hindering. So that would be pretty good again in a sealed pool. Um, I've seen people win constructed. I believe a whiz kid's open with him. So that's kind of is a kind of another piece that's uh, pretty decent. All right, that one wasn't do very well, so that's kind of weird. All right, oh. Um, Still no super rares or chases yet. We've got a rare uh, Green Lantern, um, which is uh, the John Stewart version, which is like the Justice League Unlimited uh, character. So, nothing too crazy in that brick. Um, pretty cool to see the Justice League Unlimited characters in a hero click set because I really, I actually really like that show quite a bit. Um, it was a lot of fun to watch as a kid growing up. Alright, uh, so we've got rare, uh, 
we've got uncommon prime clock king here um and we've got the rare superman from the justice league unlimited uh we'll go ahead and take out clock king clock king is a uh, championship figure um if, if you're unaware uh, people who play in like national and world championships um they have opportunities to create figures or um and have some input design so that's clock king normally it would be riddler but this one's clock king so this is uh made by scott crampton he's the 2016 uh u.s national champion um, let's see if i can get it so so shout out to scott for making this figure and i think he's actually pretty cool um so if you want to look closely at his dial oh gosh Oh, I'm working backwards here. Okay, can't see it too good. Uh, but it's got special uh, special power that gives him sidestep, and when Clock King uses it, he can use improved movement, ignores characters, and he can already ignore elevated normally. And he's got a trait at the beginning of your turn: choose one, generate a time bomb, uh, maximum three, within six squares, or remove a time bomb and give each opposing character within two squares. And of it an action token so you can really slow down the opposing team and then again he's got um, the ink uh, precision strike super senses and outwit top dial uh, for 40 points I think that's a pretty good uh, deal this is my third clock king it's like I like him but come on <laughs> right, next booster this is number five so Let's see what we got here. So booster number five, uh, we've got a rare flash from the Justice League Unlimited set. We've got Alfred. We've got, oh, Suited Henchman. This is a very popular piece here. We'll talk about him. So Suited Henchman is a pretty good uh, point filler. And also in like a modern age environment, he's good at giving you um, more uh, availability for IDs because as you know you have to have a you know character on your main force for each ID card you want to play so um, he doesn't break theme thanks to his uh, his trait and um, he's only five points for one of these uh, dials gosh can't get my camera to focus But so, um, Suited Henchman does not count for or against the theme team when Suited Henchman starts the game. Roll a d6 <clears throat> to determine a starting click. So, you've got sidestep, range combat expert, charge quake, blades, willpower, uh, plasticity, poison, sidestep, close combat expert, or flurry in power. So, we've got some decent options. This is a pretty good figure. I'm pretty happy to have one. I don't have too many. Um, I'm starting to clutter up here. So. Move this stuff. I'll keep him here <laughs> for good luck. Suited henchman for good luck. So here's another booster. Um, yeah, I bought a lot of this set when it came out, and I was I was really uh, in love with it. I, I think this is Chase here. Yep. So we have Chase uh, Robin. I really, I actually, really like this Chase. I. My friend Elvis uh, came over yesterday and we played a game and he used a Robin um, last night. And so this Robin has two point values. His lowest point value is 20 points and he starts with uh, Perplex. Um, the chases in this set have a, a, they're kind of like a shared trait uh, called Trouble Alert. And basically what happens is when you would miss your third attack on a turn or roll a critical miss. Uh, you can The character that missed that last attack can take a free action to bring one of these guys in off of your sideline on their lower point value. And then at the beginning of your turn, uh, you would roll a d6. And if you roll four through six, he would take one damage. So he has a potential to KO himself. But uh, this Robin in particular is neat because he's got the help. I've been captured again trait and when Robin is KO'd you may choose an opposing character of 30 points or more 
If you do the rest of the game when that chosen character is KO'd, it generate this Robin on his blue starting line in that character's square. Um, and then the other thing about the Trouble Alerts is they all have weaknesses. And so this Robin's weakness is plasticity. Um, so when he attacks a character with plasticity, uh, that character will get plus two defense. Or when a character uh, attacks him, they would get plus two attack if they have plasticity. So I like this Robin a lot. Um, he's got on his top dial, he's got sidestep, incapacitate, combat reflexes, and shape change. But I, I would play him at 20 points for the perplex. So. And then, like I said, you get to bring him back once per game. I really like this piece. Happy to have one. All right. Well, this one's a little bit heavy. So let's see what comes in. So, so far, two pretty good pulls. I, I like it. I know people wouldn't get too excited about a common, but Sue the is actually kind of rare for a common. All right. So, oh, Zatanna. That's another good pull. So Zatanna's are super rare, our first super rare from this brick. And Zatanna's got a special uh, power where she can use perplex and probability control, uh, which is a very sought after combination of powers in competitive play. Uh, I, the sculpt is really nice. So you can see she's got like, like a bat on the end of her staff. And she's also got another power on that lets her make these bats. And the bat bystanders have a sidestep, uh, and they have shape change and enhancement. So you can buff your uh, ranged attackers. And she does get to make two up to two of these. Uh, otherwise, she's got mystics. Uh, she's got two point values, 50 and 75. She can't make the bats on the 50, but she does start with the perplex and prob. And she's got phasing psychic blast super senses so pretty good power suite on her um i all in all i think she's a great piece happy to own her this is uh booster number eight so you should still get probably two super rares i would say uh yep speaking of super rare there's our super rare baby doll um i pulled quite a few of these She's not the best super rare, definitely not bad, but <clears throat> some I'd, I'd much rather have something else. Um, looking at, see, so I got three comments. I saw Batman, I thought maybe it was a Batman rare. Um, but Baby Doll, she's got a couple trades. Basically, her thing is she can do energy explosion and. Uh, when she uses it, uh, targeted characters can't use super senses. And she's got shape change. If she hasn't hit a character with an attack this game, she gets it on a 3 through 6. So that's nice. And then at the beginning of the game, choose a friendly character to become Baby Doll's kindred spirit uh, outwit, but only when she and her kindred spirit are on the same click number. Perplex, but only when she is on a different click number than her kindred spirit. So. You can, kind of like a sidekick to somebody, like a, an unwitting sidekick that will uh, get various powers based on what you have. So it could be good. Alright, who's to number nine? What do we got here? We got an equipment, it looks like. Um, the bat, oh, that's going to be the battery. We've got a rare Batman. So Batman um, in this, the rare is from the Justice Unlimited uh, cartoon. And uh, he gets the battering, he gets it equipped. The battering is a free thing. Battering basically gives you a free uh, attack. So uh, last booster can uh, hopefully be a super rare or a chase. Uh, he's already pulled a prime. I doubt we'll get another chase, but I think we should probably get one more super rare because we've only pulled two. So here's our last booster. And Clayface. We got Clayface. Uh, Clayface is a pretty cool figure. I really like him. Clayface is one of like the most uh, 
compelling uh, foes from the, the animated series show, I think, because he's got such a troubled story. You know, he was an actor who wanted to make it, and then uh, he had this big explosion, and he's stuck with, like, you know, this stuff on his face, and, you know, it becomes just this monster. And, yeah, he's kind of makes him crazy. He's got, like, TBI or something. Um, so... Uh, the renew you, yeah, he's a. They use the renew you to try and make him back to his normal self. Uh, so the renew you it gives him shape change, and when Clayface uses it uh, and succeeds, give him a renew you token. When Clayface rolls a single d6 for a power he's using, after rolling, you may remove any number of renew you tokens to increase the results by plus one. Reach token move. So the more shape changes you hit, the more likely you will be to hit another shape change. Um, he's got uncontrolled shifting, which gives him Battle Fury, Giant Reach X, where X is the number of Renew You tokens Clayface has. So you can possibly bump his uh, attack range. So pretty cool sculpt. Pretty spot on from the cartoon, from what I remember. So he starts with his. Uh, um, Starts with charged blades and impervious, and then he goes to plasticity in his special that gives him the the plus uh, the giant reach. So um, pretty cool. All in all, uh, it's, I know it's a quick unboxing. Uh, I didn't want to get into too much detail because the set's been out for a while, but uh, I was excited to get such a cheap brick, and I kind of wanted to share it with you guys uh, what I pulled and and. Uh, you know, maybe just talk about the stuff we got. I did get a couple other suited henchmen, I think. For sure, I see one right there. I got a lot of rares. Um, these are all duplicates for me, but some of them, I'm pretty, Zatanna, I'm happy to have. Robin, I'm happy to have. Um, maybe I'll be looking to trade these off for something else. There's quite a bit from the side I don't have still, like the Robot Minotaur and a few other things. So, um, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in and uh, you know if you liked it if you guys want to see more brick unboxings let me know in the comments below and until then remember the real fun begins when you're two clicks from ko